We're all aware of the hadith in which the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, predicted that the Ummah will be divided into 73 sects, all of whom will be astray except for one sect. And when he was asked which one is it, he didn't give a name, rather he gave a description. He said, those will be following whatever I and my followers are following today. So Sahib is asking, is it pertaining to the Aqidah matters only or what? As a matter of fact, it is pertaining to every lifestyle, whether related to the deen or to the dunya. And whenever it is related to the religious matters, Aqidah matters, Fiqh matters, uh, acts of worship. Let me give you an example quickly. Uh, the three companions who wanted to compete with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and when he heard about them, he objected. And in his statement, he said, I am the most God-fearing of all of you and the most righteous of all of you, yet I pray and I sleep. I fast and I skip some days of fasting, uh, in the voluntary fasting. And I'm married, then he remarked, saying, فَمَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي So whoever turns away from my traditions. Was that pertaining to the Aqidah matters, the articles of faith? No. He said, whoever turns away from my traditions, he does not belong to me. He deviates. So the manners, the acts of worship, the halal and haram, do's and do not do's, okay? These are all matters which if the person were to follow the guidance of the Messenger of Allah and whatever the predecessors, the companions and their followers have been following, then he is of the saved party, the saved group, even if he doesn't have a name, okay? Uh, inventing anything in even simple acts of worship, then treating them as a requirement in order to belong to a particular group or party or sect is definitely an innovation which deviates the people, the followers and the adherents of that from the path of Allah. Even if they believe in all the names of Allah and the traits of Allah, no alteration, no negation, and uh, they affirm to Allah what they affirm to Him. But in the acts of worship, in the do's and do not do's, uh, there is also deviation. So either you adhere fully or khulu fi silmi kafa. Or if you deviate, so the deviation will determine how bad the person is or this group or sect is. This is in brief.